Hello, my name is Nick, and I am a member of the Edina Rotary Community Grants Committee. I've been a Rotarian for over five years, and my favorite thing about Rotary is the many ways we get to impact our local community. Each year, we award grants up to $5,000 to serve local nonprofits in the Twin Cities Metro. There are so many great nonprofits operating in the Twin Cities, and each year we receive more grant applications than we are able to fund. In order to provide our grant committee and help set up our applicants for success, our club has prepared grant guidelines to clearly identify the projects we are most interested in funding. Our guidelines were created in the hopes of maximizing our impact in our community in tangible ways. The applications that closely mirror our grant guidelines are the ones most likely to be approved by our grant committee. Please review our grant guidelines closely to ensure your proposed project fits our selection criteria. You can find our guidelines in a link below. To help potential applicants, I'd like to take a moment to summarize some of the more important points of our guidelines. These are some of the most common reasons we turn down grant applications. First, the organization and or the proposed project needs to be in our local community. Edina, Minneapolis, Hopkins, Minnetonka, Richfield, Bloomington, Eden Prairie, and St. Louis Park are all acceptable. For grant selection purposes, we do not consider St. Paul to be part of our local community. If you are a nonprofit operating in St. Paul, we would be happy to connect you to some of the St. Paul based Rotary Clubs. If you are a nonprofit operating on a larger geographic scale, be prepared to share in your application what proportion of your funding request would benefit people in our local area. Second, the primary focus of the organization and or project needs to be education, serving the youth of our community, special needs, serving the disabled and the disadvantaged, and or supporting diversity, equity, and inclusion. Third, we do not wish to provide funds to support operating budgets or to provide funds for consumable goods like food, gas, gifts or giveaways, or printed handouts. We want to help nonprofits in very tangible ways with tangible, impactful goods. Projects that involve purchasing new technology, equipment, furnishings, security systems, or providing skill development or impactful training that are not part of operating budgets are common for applications that are given awards. Our application process usually opens July 1st and runs through October 31st. The committee then reviews all the applications and makes awards in March. For more information, please visit edinarotary.org. To all our nonprofits in the Twin Cities, we are grateful for what you are doing to serve our communities, and we hope we have the chance to partner with you. Thank you.